Hi, welcome to the class, Business Ethics, How to Create Ethical Organizations. My name is Dennis Collins and I'll be teaching you the 90 best practices in business ethics. I've been teaching business ethics and management for more than 20 years and I currently teach at Edgewood College. I've given tons of workshops and many kinds of management training programs. So if you're a corporate trainer or if you're a manager wanting to create ethical organizations or to do ethic training workshops or create codes of ethics or even just wondering how to hire ethical people, this class is for you and I'm glad that you signed up for it. Let's begin by first asking you a question. Are you morally perfect? Think about that honestly. And if you're honest, you're going to say, of course not, because nobody is morally perfect. I'm not morally perfect. I've had many experiences in organizations where my ethics have been challenged. For instance, one of my first jobs was as a supermarket manager. In the supermarket, tell me, do you ever weigh your bananas? Probably not when you get home. And we know that in the supermarket industry. And sometimes we'll jiggle the scales a little bit in our favor because we know that if our inventory is bad, I might get fired. In fact, in the supermarket industry, if you have three bad inventories in a row, you are fired. So we play games to buffer our numbers. And one of those games is to misweigh the vegetables in the produce aisle. Another game that we'll play is to misallocate resources in a way that makes it harder for you to buy cheap products and easier for you to buy the expensive products. These are games that we play. In addition, I had a verily, very unethical boss. He was a bully and I had to try to manage this bully unethical boss, which was a huge challenge. This class will help you if you have these sorts of issues because we're going to be creating an ethical organization that will improve your organization and will improve any organization that is out there. So what we're going to do is focus in on the 90 best practices based upon research conducted by business ethics researchers over the past 20 years. And the way we're going to do this is by taking a very systematic approach. So first we'll talk about the nature of ethical dilemmas at work. And then we'll talk about the fact that historically this is nothing new. There's always been ethical dilemmas at work. But most of the class will be about the following nine chapters in my textbook that I wrote about ethical organizations titled Business Ethics. And what we're going to focus in on is the best practices to put in place if I were the CEO of the organization. So we begin by hiring ethical people. So we'll talk about the best practices for knowing how do you know if you have two job finalists, which one is more ethical than the, the other one. After you hire the ethical person, then the next challenge is to have a code of ethics that they understand and that they respect. So you want to introduce them to your code of ethics. And then you want to introduce them to your ethical decision-making process by giving them examples of ethical dilemmas you have and how you thought through that. After that, you want to do ethics training. So we'll spend time on my favorite 10 business ethics training workshops. After that, we'll talk about diversity training and how to respect all employees and my favorite diversity training workshops. Next, we'll talk about ethics reporting because oftentimes employees know when things are going wrong or unethical things are taking place, but they often don't tell you, the manager. So there'll be the best practices in how to reach out to employees so that they'll be honest with you and you have the information that you need to create an ethical organization. After that, we'll talk about the best practices for being an ethical leader how to have ethical work goals, and how to do performance appraisals that measure ethical performance. After that, we'll talk about how to empower ethical employees and how to engage employees so that they are fully committed to the organization to do the best work that they can possibly do. After that, we'll talk about the best practices for environmental management so that your organization can respect the ecosystem in which it operates in. And then we'll talk about being an excellent corporate citizen in a community. So that'll be about the best practices for community outreach. Then the very last workshop we'll do, and the very last lecture we'll do, will be about assessing everything. And what you'll be able to do in that last lecture 
is to be able to assess your organization based on the 90 best practices for creating ethical organizations. You'll be able to praise the good that you're doing, you'll see where you're weak, and we'll come up with recommendations for how to improve your weaknesses. So at the very end, you can create an ethical organization, you can reinforce ethics within your organization, and you'll be known as a manager of very high integrity. So let's begin the class.